the 2016 Telstra Australian Capital Territory Businesswoman of the Year is Dr Nicole Sides. Thank you so much. I'm overcome. I'm honoured, these amazing women, and, and to be chosen. And uh, thank you for the previous winners for their inspiration of the last couple of days and for uh, Telstra and uh, North News Corp and Commonwealth Bank for also sponsoring it. And, and the community I, I work in and the people who are dear to me and I work with that, um, that makes all this possible. It's not just me. It's, it's so many, many people who've got me here from... A little kid in a country town with um, nine different schools, and here I am representing you all. So, how does a, a fertility clinic stand out? Doctors don't do this sort of thing, it's not entrepreneurial as a group. And I guess I'm passionate because we're living in an age of corporate medicine, uh, and that has its strengths, but I'm overall not really a believer in it. And uh, we have a locally operated clinic. It's locally owned, lo lo locally operated, and we're responsive to our community and the needs that we have here. So it's holistic. So we work on natural things to, to get pregnant, and which a lot of it's just lifestyle and getting public servants to have sex. <laughs> uh, One in ten couples are unable to conceive and have a family within one year. And if you look at the old age groups, and many of you would fall into that because you've been busy getting a degree or a second degree or a master's, and then you up, end up older and you're looking at one in five to one in six has trouble conceiving. And add to that, we have male factor infertility that's gone from about 10% of you know, in therapies for it, and we're up to 60% where we have to inject the sperm into the egg uh, to get it to fertilise, which we think is environmental pollutants is doing this. But it's not just IVF, it's actually now using the technology to prevent tragic diseases in families like cystic fibrosis, like haemophilia or the BRCA gene. So we can actually select those out and give the uh, families that option. So we work on the edge of ethics and we work at the leading edge and we work and have to make the the jump between the couple in front of us that are, are desperate to have a child and then community's expectations, uh, what their morals and ethics are and how it applies in the community we live in. And we live in a global village. So if we are tightly controlled, those people will go overseas where there's no protections. So our job is to work with our community and our couples, but it's also uh, to have that conversation with the government to enact legislative change where it's appropriate or at least a debate on the topic. And it's a business, so it actually uh, has to be financially viable. It has to make money, and it's, it's very pleasant to do what you love and to, to actually earn a living doing it. So if we're doing this in Canberra, can we do it somewhere else? And that's where we're at, and that's part of the evaluation we've done with the Telstra Business Women's Awards, uh, to meet more people and they'll hopefully have collegiality with me and mentorship of me to possibly make this next step. And we think that's uh, taking this model overseas and making it Australia's next export. Thank you.